Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. And for many years we've had uh, licensed amateur radio operators or ham radio operators as astronauts on board space missions and uh, communicating with us hams here on the ground, which is a lot of fun. Uh, one of the first was Owen Gary at W5LFL on STS-9, I believe it was, uh, Space Shuttle Columbia. Uh, back in the early 80s, I guess, and I was fortunate at the time enough to make contact with him, a very brief contact, but uh, I'll never forget it. And uh, I've made several contacts uh, over the years, I guess, with sh uh, shuttle missions and the International Space Station. But uh, a lot of the astronauts do uh, get their amateur radio license and are able to use ham radio as a recreation in their spare time to talk to us hams on the ground. Uh, during an overhead pass and many times they use it to communicate with club stations set up at schools uh, prearranged time and they can talk uh, and talk to the school kids and the kids can ask questions of the astronauts. That's pretty cool too. Over the last few days they've been doing something a little different here. Uh, it's called slow scan television, slow scan TV where they can send a transmission. It takes several seconds to download an image but uh, during an overhead pass if you have the right software you don't have to be licensed to receive. So I was able to capture some images here over the last few days. So this is what I was able to capture. Let's take a look. And here's a QSL card I hang on my wall for talking to Owen Garriott. And to begin with, these are some images I copied on the first day of operation on December 18th. But I'll show you those images at the end of the video. So we're going to skip ahead a couple days in time here. Alright, it's December 20th now. About 18.45 UTC time. And you can see the space shuttle and the tracking here. Not the space shuttle, uh, the International Space Station. We'll be making some passes today over the United States. And one pass is coming up here pretty soon, so I'm set up and ready to copy any slow scan TV images that they might be sending today. Uh, earlier, I was thinking it was December 18th, 19th, and 20th that they were going to be doing their tests, but uh, after looking a little closer, it was the 18th and the 20th, but not on the 19th, so I didn't uh, see anything yesterday. My first images were from the 18th, so... We should be acquiring signal here pretty soon. The circle you see is the radio range uh, as they pass over. So when we get in that circle here from Albert Lee, Minnesota is where I'm at up there. And we should hear some signal and see what happens. This is my receiver over here tuned to 145, 801 right now. At, uh, I'll knock it down to 800 there. It's about where they're at. 145.8 megahertz right in the 2 meter ham radio band. And we'll see signal here uh, if we start receiving. And this is the slow scan TV image decoder here. If they start sending an image this will is set to automatically start decoding the image. Now this is the online tracker. This is isstracker.com. It's a live online site where you can see where the International Space Station is at all times. Okay, they just came into radio range and I am hearing the signal. They are transmitting today and sounds like they just ended their the one image so they paused about three minutes in between images. So in about another three minutes here hopefully we'll have a stronger signal and be able to decode a picture. Uh, they're traveling at about 17,000 miles per hour and they're up in the air about 256 miles above the earth right now showing here. So we have about a 10 minute window during each pass, about a 10 minute window. And there we go, it's starting to decode, light turn green and we should see an image. Here's their signal on the receiver, it's a digital signal. Slow scan TV, this is called, where it takes uh, time to decode one image. And the mode they're using is PD180 here, it's showing me, decoding, which takes, uh, I'm guessing, about 180 seconds. So we'll see what we get for an image. And I'll do a little editing, I won't 
sit uh, let you sit through the the whole thing here it takes a little time but uh, you can see the image is coming in the lines you see through the image are noise that I'm receiving on the receiver there's noisy spots and then it doesn't decode properly you can see the call sign they're using the Russian call sign on the International Space Station R0 or RS0 uh, ISS ISS is for International Space Station so we'll try to get this image uh, it's going back into the noise here a little bit so we're starting not to decode uh, the other day I was able to catch uh, two images during one of their passes but it looks like they're going to be out of range here I'll only have one image but they got some more passes this afternoon so we'll come back and uh, see if we can receive some more yeah it looks like I have loss of signal here for this pass but um, this is the image we got here off of that pass kind of noisy we had some better images the other day so looking up the call sign RS0ISS on QRZ.com QRZ.com the ham radio call sign lookup site this is what we come up with there's a photo of the International Space Station and a little bit of information so we'll come back here in about another 90 minutes or so and then we'll have another pass and directly overhead here okay it's about 20 23 UTC now or 23 minutes after 2 p.m. here Saturday December 20th I guess it is yes uh, 20th 2014 we have another pass here. I should be within radio range shortly. Okay, we do have a signal. We're just within range here. It's showing. You can see it turned green. We're locked on. And the ISS is uh, almost directly overhead my location here in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Doppler effect does play an effect on frequency. Frequency is a little bit higher as the ISS is approaching and signal uh, the frequency goes a little bit lower when it's passed. Getting a nice image here. It was a little bit of noise to start with and all I'm using for an antenna is a basic uh, scanner antenna, ground point style antenna off the side of my tower. It's not up very high but it doesn't have to be for this type of use and all you need is a scanner radio or, or a ham radio that will receive the two meter band and then this decoding software I'm using MMSSTV it's free software for download and you uh, wire the radio in so the audio goes into the computer you can see we got a nice strong signal here now on the waterfall and spectrum analyzer you can see the waterfall display showing the Doppler shift okay we're getting an image but for some reason uh, it shifted here towards the middle not exactly sure what happened there. I'm not uh, real used to this decoding software yet, so it's possible I could correct that. I'm not sure. We're getting an image. Very strong signal now as the International Space Station passes over my location. And their dropped signal. Three minutes from now, we'll be getting another image. If we're still in range here, we'll see if we can copy that. Okay, here we go. The new image, I have the feeling I'm going to be getting out of range here before the image is complete, but we should get half of it. Now you don't have to be a licensed ham to decode uh, these signals. These are live transmissions from the space station, and you don't have to be licensed to receive. So anyone can do this uh, with the right setup, antenna, receiver, and the software. Well, I come about bad timing here, I guess, for this image. Like I say, they're getting out of range here for me, and the image is just uh, faded out on me here. Well, this is the next pass here. I think uh, they may have shut down operations already, though, for the day. I think it's uh, past their bedtime or rest time. 2130 UTC, I believe they were going to quit operations, and it's uh, 22 hundred hours here now so um, but uh, the other day they did go past that time I believe so we'll just see what happens but this could be it I'll post some links down below uh, to some of this software and other things uh, if this is something you might be interested in you can check that out so here's uh, samples of the images I 
was able to copy on the 18th and the 20th. You'll notice in the top right hand corner of each image uh, there's a number and there's a total of 12 but I only copied five of them and uh, so this is slow scan TV not to be confused with fast scan TV which is live video which uh, we can also do that's more like a regular TV station so 7-3 and thanks for watching